my goodness it's great to be home i've been away for two weeks and i've really had a great time but it's nice to be back with a desk and a laptop and the ability to put myself in my home environment on a regular basis which i haven't been able to do for all the time that i've been away we traveled down to the mountains of oaxaca for what's called dia de los muertos which is the first and second of november and then I stayed on at the hotel that belongs to a member of our family for what ended up being basically a writing retreat in the morning and then time painting and varnishing doors and windows across the afternoon. So I've had two weeks of mental activity in the morning and then the physical activity in the afternoons. And I've really enjoyed it. It's been a total break. It feels like I've been on a holiday, but that wasn't the intention. And I think sometimes to have a change of scene and to get ourselves away from our regular home environment, it's been a really good thing. I referred to it, I think, in one of my short videos a few weeks ago, or maybe 10 days ago, as an involuntary writing retreat, or certainly an unexpected writing retreat, and it's done me the world of good. I came back to the house here in Mexico City on Friday. I took one of the long distance, eight and a half hour coaches from Oaxaca, which is a beautiful place, but it's a long distance away from here. And then on Friday night, I got home and that's been superb. But today is Monday, it's the 20th of November. And as far as I'm concerned, Having made some um, notes in my journal last night, I've got 11 days to finish NaNoWriMo and to enjoy the process, but to finish strong. The two weeks away was a superb time, but I didn't have my laptop. I didn't have a regular desk. I was using a kitchen table or sitting in the restaurant sometimes and writing either on an existing work in progress in a physical copy with pen and paper as an easy process or sometimes on my iPad with a wireless keyboard to add to the story and to create what I could in little one hour or two hour blocks. One of the things I really liked is in the second week I would leave the hotel in the morning and instead of having breakfast there I walked into town, went to a little um, comedor, not quite a coffee shop um, and not quite a restaurant, something in between the two. I would have a breakfast there and a mug of steaming coffee and just sit and write for an hour. And I found that to be the most productive of my writing slots while I was, while I was away. But I'm home now, there's plenty to do and a lot to work for. What I'm looking forward to now is a regular routine. I wrote some notes last night about what I'm hoping to get on with over this next 10 days or so. And I've created something which I think will work for me, but it's new. Um, essentially what I've said is, can I spend my mornings focused on YouTube activity and the cinematography? That's not the real word, but the creation of short film and long form content videos, which is what I'm doing right now. And then the afternoons from one o'clock till six o'clock, focus on my work in progress, my whip or my finished product. No, that's, you know what I mean? Focus on the work in progress to have that finished by the end of the month. And to give myself five days a week from one o'clock till six o'clock, that steady writing activity either here at my desk in the office or nipping out to a coffee shop for a couple of hours maybe a couple of hours in one location and then change have a little walk somewhere else go to a second coffee shop for a couple of hours and then write maybe from four o'clock till six o'clock and get back to the house i think that routine getting away from my desk sometimes is going to help me but i've got 10 days to work on that and I'm looking forward to that because I think that will package the month well so that I can really focus on my writing activity. 
think what I learned from being away for those two weeks was to really focus on, not so much to focus on, that's the wrong word, but just to be in the space of writing on a regular basis, whether it is with pen and paper, or now that I'm back home, I can use my MacBook Air. Just enjoy creating content in there. And every couple of days, I think, print off a couple of the chapters that I've been working through in the previous days, doing a final pen and ink edit, and then sitting with that overnight, and the next day printing it off and working on it again. But the idea is, for me personally, as I move through the last third of NaNoWriMo, is just to enjoy the process, to be in that place where I've got my pens and a cup of coffee, and I can work through my writing so that by the end of November, the 30th of November, I can close down the month and say, this has worked, this hasn't worked, and why didn't it work? But where am I? Have I advanced through the month of November, achieved some of my NaNoWriMo goals, and that I'm ready for December to start with some slightly better working processes or some new writing routines, and to see that December also is effective and successful, but that we're doing what we love. Remember this. When you are writing, you are at your most creative, you're at your most expressive. And so for these next 10 days, this week and a half that takes us to the end of November, what will you write? How will you work with these little moments of time, whether it's 30 minutes here or two hours over there, to push the words forward and to get to the place where you want to be in the course of NaNoWriMo? Wherever you are, whether you're writing in a home office or on a lap tray or, you know, a little table on your knees in front of the sofa or on the sofa in your living room at home, or whether you're working in a coffee shop or in a public library, happy writing, effective writing. And don't forget, let us know how you're getting on as we move through this final block of days of November uh, and that you get your project finished to the best extent that you possibly can. Wherever you are, happy writing.